Before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to Logitech for sending me these brand new headphones. They are called the G935s and they are compatible with the brand new Xbox, the brand new PS5 and they're also compatible with the old gens and PC. And as you clearly can see, they are wireless, which is so, so good. Now Logitech have actually sent us another one, which means they want us to do a giveaway for this one right here. And if you guys want to have a chance of winning this one, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Once the giveaway does go live, just follow the instructions and you will be entered. But let's get straight into the video what's going on guys all here and welcome back to a brand new video so today we are taking a look at team of the week nine predictions now people are already saying team of the week is going to be absolutely horrible and i'm just trying to think where are you doing your research because for me personally team of the week nine is looking really really good there's some serious players that will 100 make your team but at the same time go for a very decent amount of coins so let's get straight into it we are going to be seeing cristiano ronaldo up first grabbing himself two goals in the first half every single person wanted this guy to grab a hat trick because he deserves a team of the week now he did only grab himself two goals only 9.2 rating man of match performance i don't really have to go through the stats because the stats are absolutely unbelievable we all know how good this guy is this year so hopefully he will grab himself his first in form and especially with black friday just around the corner i feel like he will be in there next up is going to be immobile another serial player one goal one assist and 8.5 rating with the man of match performance and take a look at these stats 85 pace 84 dribbling 89 shooting yes he's got a 68 passing and yes he's got a 78 physical but other than that he looks like a really really good striker and he will definitely be a card that I would be interested to do a cheeky review on moving over to Haaland Haaland four goals you don't see that very often you don't see that very often at all. Haaland grabbing himself four goals and it is going to be our first 10 out of 10 rating. Absolutely unbelievable performance from him. 87 pace, 80 dribbling, 90 shooting, 88 physical. Bear in mind, he is obviously going to be six foot four with those kind of stats. Pretty impressive. And we can 100% see this guy in team of the week. If this guy doesn't get team of the week, I will have no words for EA anymore. Either way, next up is going to be Lukaku, another Serie A player. We've seen three Serie A players and one Bundesliga player. But Lukaku did manage to grab himself two goals, two assists, a 9.6 rating. Really decent stats. I still feel like, you know, he's going to feel like an absolute truck on the ball. Not going to be able to turn pretty much. But he did end up actually getting a penalty. So that was one of his goals. But either way, in form, pretty much guaranteed. Let's all be fair. Moving over to another Serie A player, we are going to see Ibra grabbing himself two goals and 9.0 rating with a man of match performance as well. Now, 60 pace for a striker in FIFA. Let's all be real. It's not great. Not great at all. But you have to understand, Ibra, from the MLS to the Serie A, he is still causing absolute mayhem in every league he goes to and that just shows how good he really is but he is actually joint top goal scorer in the Serie A with Cristiano Ronaldo moving over to Weghorst I believe is how you pronounce it he grabbed himself a goal an assist an 8.4 rating against Schalke also grabbing himself a man of match performance but it's kind of the same situation as Ibra right where Ibra didn't have the pace but he's got the shooting stats it's the same thing for Weghorst I feel like he's got no pace but he's got the shooting stats but he definitely will be in the team of the week because he 100% deserves it moving over to Insame now Insame let's all be real he doesn't look like a bad card 85 pace, 85 shooting, 85 physical. Yes, the dribbling stats definitely need to be upgraded, but obviously that can be fixed with a simple chem style. One goal, one assist, an 8.6 rating with the man and match performance. Really nice card, and it will be an interesting card to see how he would actually perform in-game. Like, stats are all good, but I want to know how you perform in-game. If you perform in-game, obviously you're going to be pretty decent. Moving over to the lot. Now, I actually used his gold card and I didn't think it was actually too bad. I actually enjoyed it a little bit. But either way, he gave himself two goals, an assist, a 9.4 rating with the mana match performance. And we could be seeing himself get his first in form. An 87 pace, 83 shooting, 78 dribbling and 84 physical. Really, really nice card. And it would be interesting to see if some people actually use this card in their weekend league teams. Moving over to Mateta. Mateta, three goals. 
a nine it's not even a three goals apparently by the way it's not enough for a 10 out of 10 rating kind of understandable you know but either way 9.7 rating with the man of match performance really decent card but not an insane card i feel like you'll probably try to stick a hunter chemstar on this card and try to you know make him half usable but if this guy gets a few more informs let's say another two informs maybe even another three informs you could actually see this card be a really nice all-rounded striker but either way he will be in team of the week because he did end up getting himself a hat trick Moving over to Yasicic, I believe is how you pronounce it. Two goals, one assist, and 9.5 rating with the mana match performance. But another striker that has not got pace. We know the meta this year. We know pretty much every single striker is going to need to run fast. It's just as simple as that. And obviously him not really having the pace is always going to be an issue. So this card is probably going to be a card you definitely do not want to get out of your team in a week pack. Let's just say that. Moving over to Ryan Kent. He's back. And he's back for more, boys. Oh, no. I have literally had nightmares already thinking about this card. Because what this guy did to me last year was unaccept unacceptable behavior. But for some reason, he wants to be back this year. 79 overall. One goal. One assist. An 8.8 .8 rating with the mana match performance. I will 100%, if he does get an inform, be giving this guy a review. Because I want to see... Is he just as good as last year? I feel like he's not going to be good as last year, but that's me hoping. We all know what Kent does. He does. It's all on the other side. He does what he wants on that pitch, and it's just simple as that. But hopefully he does eventually get himself an inform, and I feel like this week is going to be the week. Moving over to Perotti. Now, Perotti is not, let's say, a meta winger. Because usually meta wingers have a lot of pace. But Perotti has got a lot of dribbling. Which means he's going to be really good at just like moving the ball and kind of that. But either way. Two goals and 9.3 rating with the man of match performance. Once again doesn't really look, look like a card that would fit into my team. And fit into a lot of people's teams. But it definitely does deserve to be in team of the week. Moving over to Plano. Plano grabbed himself a goal and assist. An 8.3 rating with the man of match performance. 90 pace. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, all right? Listen, Perotti, you could have learned, you know, a decent amount when it comes down to pace, when it comes down to plan or, But either way, you could obviously learn a bit of each other. One having dribbling, one having pace. 80 dribbling, 75 shooting, 79 passing, 73 physical. It just looks like one of those cards that is extremely fast, and that's pretty much it. Let's all be fair. Moving over to Brady. Now, a thing I want to say about this card is he looks really, really good. For I believe it's his first in form. Like he's got 81 pace, 85 dribbling, 83 shooting and 82 passing. If this guy gets himself a few more in forms, we could honestly see Brady in a few people's teams. Because he does not look bad. He does not look bad at all. Now he got, he got himself a goal, he got himself an assist, an 8.6 rating with the man of match performance as well. Moving over to Honorat, I believe is how you pronounce it. 8-1 pace, 79 dribbling, 76 shooting. Once again, not really a winger that's going to fit your kind of play style, I guess. One goal, one assist, an 8.3 rating with the man of match performance. But yeah, this is just one of those cards that you know you're going to see pop up in your player picks. You know you're going to see him pop up at least three times. Maybe even four times. If, you know, you got yourself that many player picks. But yeah, it's just going to be a guy that's probably going to be quite annoying to see. But once again, he definitely does deserve to be in Team of the Week. Now, moving over to the cam position, we are going to see Hutchinson. A card that I'm going to be real, does not look like a cam at all. He looks like a CDM, maybe even a centre mid. Because 81 defending, you don't see that on a cam very often. Let's all be fair. He grabs himself a goal. An assist, an 8.8 .8 rating with the man of match performance. And I feel like no one in FIFA terms will use this as a cam. I really, really don't. I feel like they'll just put him into a CDM position and probably even a centre mid. Because he does look like a really nice all-rounded card. But I don't feel like the cam position is going to be perfect for this guy. Moving over to another cam, we are going to see Mancuso, I believe is how you pronounce it. Get my little cheeky Italian accent out there. Either way, he got himself four assists, a 9.5 rating. Apparently, four assists is not enough for a 10 out of 10 rating. Either way... Lee's actually won their game 7-1. And this guy assisted four of those goals. So I can guarantee this guy is going to be in team of the week without a doubt. Moving over to Labayard. Labayard, I believe is how you pronounce it. Not the greatest of names. You can probably tell that by already. Either way, 
Two goals, one assist, a 9.2 rating with the man of match performance. If we're talking about fever terms, I could definitely say he is not a centre mid. Without a doubt, he's more of a cam, if anything, because I feel like he's going to feel good on the ball with that 85 dribbling. He's probably got decent shooting stats, saying it is 81. He's got good passing stats, but he hasn't got a lot of pace. But yeah, I would definitely say this card is more of a cam than he is a centre mid or even CDM. So up next is going to be Fabregas. Now Fabregas still grabbing himself goals, still grabbing himself assists, and he's still grabbing himself man and match performances as well with an 8.6 rating. Now the interesting thing about this game was they were playing PSG. And we all know PSG aren't an easy opponent to face. Now PSG were actually 2-0 up with Mbappe scoring both goals. Now, they actually choked that choked that lead and ended up losing 3-2, with Fabregas scoring a penalty for the game winner. Now, the reason I have not put Mbappe on this list is simply because they lost the game. If they won that game, trust me, I would have put Mbappe on this list simply because I, felt, I would have felt like he would have deserved it. But because they lost their game, I cannot. And I feel like Fabregas, without a doubt, will actually steal the team of the week for that game. Now, moving over to the fullbacks, we are going to have Digne up first, grabbing himself two assists and 8.8 .8 rating with that man of match performance. If we're talking about FIFA terms when it comes down to usable fullbacks, I'm going to be real. He doesn't really fit that term because the pace is not great. The physical stats aren't great. And I feel like with the right chem style, his defending stats are actually pretty decent. He would be a decent card without a doubt, but I feel like there are better cards that you can use in that left back position in the Premier League. Moving over to Carrasco. I went back for a second. Either way, Carrasco is going to be a left wing back. So they were playing Barcelona. They ended, they ended up winning 1-0. Obviously, Carrasco did score the goal. He got himself an 8.2 rating as well with the man of match performance. To Stegen doing an absolute like horrific mistake literally running out of his goal for absolutely no reason Carrasco had like a wide open shot if he missed it there would be questions asked but he didn't end up missing it but either way it'll be interesting to see if EA actually give Carrasco a left wing back uh, position card or will they actually just you know throw him into that left wing card it's very interesting to see because this card he doesn't look like a terrible left back but those defending stats are going to cost you by a decent amount Moving over to another person that should not be playing in that fullback position. It is going to be Milner. Now, obviously, pretty much like the whole Liverpool team are out due to an injury or out due to like coronavirus. So people are going to be playing in unnatural positions. So Milner playing in that fullback position is obviously going to be a bit questionable because he has got 62 pace. But he put in a shift, making him win the game 3-0. And also keeping himself a clean sheet, which is actually pretty impressive. He got himself an assist, an 8.0 rating, and I don't believe he did end up getting man a match, but it is what it is. He had an amazing performance without a doubt. Now, when it comes down to FIFA terms, once again, 62 pace for a fullback is never going to make my team. Let's just say that. Now, moving over to the centre-back position, we are going to see Dragovic. Now, Dragovic is the only centre-back that we actually do have in this week interesting there's not a lot of center backs that did, that did actually perform this week which is obviously super disappointing but it is what it is now the reason Dragovic's rating is so low is simply because he was a sub in the 50th minute now he scored a late minute winner in the 88th minute so it was pretty decent and he did actually get himself a man of match performance even with a 7.0 0.7 rating and he doesn't really look like a bad card obviously he comes from the Bundesliga and you've got so many so many good Bundesliga centre-backs this year to the point where I don't feel like Dragovic will be a card that'll probably get used but it doesn't look like a bad card let's all be fair moving over to the keepers now we are gonna see Lloris now Lloris playing against Manchester City managed to keep himself a clean sheet Five saves, a 7.9 rating, and he didn't, I believe he didn't get man a match, which is kind of disappointing because usually when you see a 7.9 on a keeper, you straight up think to yourself, that's a man a match performance because trust me, a 7.9 rating for a keeper is extremely high. But either way, Loris keeping a clean sheet against Manchester City is absolutely unbelievable. So I feel like he is probably going to be guaranteed to be in team of the week. Moving over to another keeper that had an amazing performance. It is going to be my boy Lopez. Being, me being Portuguese, him being Portuguese, we've got that little link up, haven't we? Either way, seven saves, an 8.7 rating. I was literally just talking about a 7.9 rating being high, extremely high for a keeper. And then this guy just comes out of nowhere and says, 
is it though? Is it really? And gets himself an 8.7 rating. He grabbed himself the man of match performance, unlike Larice, but he 100% will be in team of the week. So really good keepers, without a doubt. Not great centre backs because it's only one, but some really really good keepers to actually see if they ended up if they end up getting team of the week. But that is going to be it for team of the week nine predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.